All right, guys, this is the tenth hired request, and I will be officially caught up with my schedule uh, upon posting this video. So it's a, a piano solo piece by, let's see, Carly Commando, and it's called Every Day. It's a great little piano solo piece. You should listen to it. Anyway, here's the beginning. It just has the chord progression A minor, F, C, and E major over and over again. And it makes it, you know, you can just, if you know anything about chords, you could probably take that uh, and then, you know, figure out what the rest of the arrangement is if you're at all proficient. Anyway, let's get started. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Um, I put the free part one on YouTube and I put the rest on my website webpianoteacher.com where there are thousands and thousands of other video lessons that I've done for the past six years. Okay, and uh, memberships are really reasonably priced considering that if you took private lessons from me it would uh, cost uh, about $200 a month for that. And if you consider getting access to all of my lessons uh, that I've done for the past six years, you know, for 30 bucks for a month, that's not bad. Anyway, let's get started here. We have A, C, A, A, C, A, C. Now, what's going to really make this work for you is if you get the accents in there. It's very rhythmic. Uh, it's kind of like a, a Baroque piece in the Baroque period, like Bach or something, or Handel. And you have to get the accents in there or it's not going to sound right, okay? you got to... So when you do that C chord, you have to... If I don't accent that E, it's just, just going to sound like this. You don't have the sound, so it really matters how you play it. You have to accent certain notes, and I'm going to show you all the way through what to do on this. This is seven pages, and it took... Uh, I'm doing the part ones last now, so uh, I did five, less, five long lessons already. This is will make... Uh, Actually, there's, there's, there'll be five, including this one. And they're all long and uh, go through the whole piece. So, A, C, A, A, C, A, C. And I'm going to use, um, let's see. You can use one and two, but I kind of like two, four. I'm a classically trained pianist, and I use a lot of different fingering sometimes that, that most people would want to use. But either one works, two and four or one and two, you know. But it's A, C, A, and then A, C, A, C two more times. A, C, A, A, C, A, C. Okay, now the left hand is going to have this. E, C, E, C, E, C. Okay, uh, so... You're going to do this E, C two times while the right hand does that two times. So one, two, see that right there? One, two. So I'll put this together. I start at the beginning. I have... Da, da, da. Hand C is all by itself there. It's all by itself right there. Ba, 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 there. You want to hold the pedal down so it all rings. You want to accent the first A and you want to accent this A. That gives us an accent on count one and count three, the strong beats that we have in, in a, four, a measure of four four time. So one, two, and then, then we do that box again. See the two, the bracketed two over that? So you can do the whole box two times. Here we go. One, going to change the chord to an F chord, even though the bass still stays uh, with a C on the bottom. Alright, so we're going to have A, C, A, and then I'm going to do A, C four more times. One, two, three, four. See that? One, two, three, four. So I do A, C, A, and then I do A, C four times. One, two, three, four. Uh, on the left hand, I have F, C, F, C, F, C, F, C, okay? So let's play this box real slow. One, one two, three, four. Again, da, da, da. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do this, okay? Which is, look, I'm going to play the A, C again two times, but I'm going to put an F on the top. 
and I'm going to voice that top note. I'm going to have that pinky strong so that F will sing. So it comes out strong. And then the left hand is still doing the F C two times. One, two. So this little box right here is. Okay, again. Make that F come out, okay? Now let's start right here and tie these two boxes together. So starting here and go. fast. See, it kind of just do 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 it kind of goes along. You, know, you think of a inside of a watch or something magnified. You see all the gears going, just, you know, this kind of music, just steady timing all the way through. Now, let's go and tie it together. And that's how you should practice, guys. You don't want to try to do too much at once or just play all the way through in one sitting. Try one measure, get it down. Try the second measure, get it down. Tie them together. And then work on the third measure. Tie those three together, okay? Work in a chain like that. Now let's go from the beginning and do those three boxes. And go. Okay, you're accenting your A's. Da -da -da. When you get there to the F. Now after that, we're going to do a C chord and we're going to do this. We're going to accent the E on our fifth finger. E. We're going to bring that out, okay? Balance. If you're making a dish, a stew or a soup or something, and you have spices and salt and pepper, you want to have the right mixture of everything so it tastes good, okay? Too much salt is bad, too much pepper is bad, but just the right amount is very good. So you want to have the balance correct. The E is stronger than the other notes. E, G, C, G. We're going to do that pattern four times. See the E? And then the G, C, G is uh, after the fact. We're going to do it four times. One, two, three, four. The left hand is going to go E, C, E, C the whole time. So it's one, two, three, four. Get that? Then we're going to go. measure is very similar to that one, but it's an E chord, an E major. We're going to go E, G sharp, B, G sharp. Now we we'll do that four times. One, two, three, four. And the left hand goes B, E, B. Uh, now, look, it only goes B, E, B the first time. After that first time, you're going to play the E every time at the beginning. Only the first time do you not play that E? Two, three, four. See how I play the E every other time, but not the first time. One, two, three, four. Why is it written that way? I don't know. It just is. All right, so we got that. So that's how you go from the from the beginning to there. Now let's go from the beginning and go that far. I'll go slow. Go. sign there that tells us to go back to the beginning and play it all again I'm not going to do that right now because we already you understand so just play it again that's how you you do it in the song you repeat it then uh, but when you go back through uh, the second time it's going to be a little different okay so the first time we went through like normal now when we come through the second time you're not going to play this measure okay and I had actually had first ending written there, but I erased it by accident. This was the first ending. You guys know first and second endings? If you've had music or piano lessons at all, maybe you know that. That was the first ending. You repeat back and go through. You skip over the first ending, and you're going to do the E chord this way instead of this way. So the second time through, it sounds like this. You say, well, how is that different? Well, it's bigger. You have a low E in the bass, which thickens the accompaniment, which makes it, uh, you know, a, a, a more, a stronger sound there. Okay, so let's look at the left hand, because that's mainly what's different here. E, low E, 
then up to B, up to E on the thumb, back to B, back to E, back to B, back to E, back to B. So the only lo low note here is at the beginning. The E is low at first, and then it's B, E, B, E, B, E, B. Okay? And you do that two times. Okay? So I think I had a two times on this as well, but I erased it by accident. Okay? So that is the second inning, but it's two times. Okay, so the right hand is E, G sharp, B, G sharp, E, G sharp, B, G sharp. Okay, just like this was. Okay, it ends up being four times total, just like this was four times total. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now the left hand, we put it in there with it. It sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And I'm using two, three, five, because that, that's just what I like. You can use one, two, five if you like feel as stable to me as two, three, five. But that's up to you. So that's the second ending, okay? So the first time through you play the first ending, go back, skip over, play the second ending, and we finish it on. It took me all day to do the lessons for it, so they're on the, the website along with thousands of other lessons. I got blues lessons, how to improvise blues. I got my beginner 50 lessons for any beginner pianist who wants to know chords and scales and how, you know, the kind of the language of music, how to, to begin with that. Uh, 50 of those lessons for beginners. Got classical music on there, lots of pop songs, TV show themes, uh, video game themes, you name it, it's on there. Some of my personal arrangements, well, a lot of my personal arrangements on there of, uh, of things. So, it's plenty of stuff to keep you busy. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll talk to you later.